matter to be placed on an upcoming agenda. Anybody want to speak? Yes, I would like to speak, but I don't want this to cut into my time. I, I want to let you know that I have clarification here. I went back and listened to the tape, and I am 24 seconds short. That's the amount that, when, since you interrupted me, President Klinker, and a number of people over-talked me, I should be allowed an extra 24 seconds tonight since I was shorted that last time. Can you give her a minute? Can you set You want to speak your three minutes? Go ahead. Oh, I'd like three minutes and 24 seconds. Is that right? Three minutes, Robin. It says three minutes. <clears throat> Duly noted. The following is I'm reading from President uh, Don Twinker's deposition that was taken during the lawsuit uh, depositions. Oh, that matter was already settled. This is about Robert's rules. Uh, the question, and the questions are posed by my attorney, Larry Frost. Okay, Little Falls City Council under, operate, under operates under Robert's rules of order, doesn't it? Hmm. Sort of, this is Don Klinker now, sort of, we don't go by it strictly. Frost, could you explain that please? Well, I guess I don't, our attorney said Robert's rules of order are, what do you call it? I don't know the name that you can go by it, but we don't strictly go by Robert's Rules of Order because it's for an or a big organization, not for a little organization. Frost, all right, is there or is there not a city rule that states that Robert's Rules of Order is the guideline, is the operating rules for the city council? Clinker, not that I'm aware of. Frost, okay. So it's your understanding that you go by Robert's Rules of Order when you want to, but you don't have to stick to it? Clinker, I don't think we have, we don't have to stick by it. I don't think we have to even go by it. Frost, okay, so earlier you said Robert's Rules was there for a guideline or something, but you don't use it at all. Is that what you're saying now? Clinker nods. Frost, so what rules does the city council operate under them? Clinker, just the regular rules, I suppose. I don't, I don't, I'm not a, I'm not an attorney, so I don't know what you would call it. Frost, well, but you're the presiding, you preside over the council meetings. Clinker, that's exactly right. You're, Frost, you're what most people would call the chairman of the meeting. Clinker, yes. Frost, and I think your title, for the record, your title is the president of the city council, correct? Clinker, right. Frost, but it's the same function you run the meeting. Right? Clinker, right. Frost, how do you decide what you want will allow and what you what not to allow? Clinker, we just we follow our agenda items. Frost, but how do you decide whether people, for example, get to speak or not? Is there a rule about that? Or do you just decide on the spot? Clinker, we don't have any rules about it. Frost, so you just decide on the spot whether someone speaks or not? Clinker, yeah, if it's pertinent to what we're talking about. Frost, if someone admits, submits an agenda item, would you consider what they have to say pertinent to that agenda item? Clinker, not necessarily. I think your minutes are up. Uh, you have no Thank rules you. which guides you in deciding who gets to speak, is that correct? Clinker, you I guess rules. not. We're not listening to him right now. Your minutes, your few minutes are up. Anybody else want to speak? If not, we'll go.